Stormfront is down to fuck Homelander. No, seriously. I think that that's the great conspiracy going on here. Think about it. Okay, um, Stillwell had a very specific role in in the company. I mean, yeah, she had the administrative role. She could handle, like, they, the very first scene we see her and she's, you know, talking to some mayor trying to sell. that She's a good salesman. She's an administrator. We get all that, right? But, like, she had another function. Her function was to keep Homelander in check. He's a raging fucking narcissist. He's got a, uh, what do they call that when you're obsessed with your mom? Is a Opedius? Whatever. I can't pronounce Greek names. He has that, right? Like, he wants to fuck his mom, essentially, which a non-existent mom in his case. You know, and so he kind of saw her as that. That's why he's so obsessed with her fucking titty milk. <sighs> Man, sick motherfucker. But, so, that's the thing. You know, I, you know, she fulfilled that function because he had like a, you know, kind of a mommy slash sexual obsession with her. And so that kept him in check to a certain extent. Now, it couldn't keep him in check all the time. And in fact, like his obsession with her actually caused him to go off the reservation a couple times as well, right? One time he thought he was helping her. Another time he was just trying to do his own thing, right? Trying to help her. Well, again, actually trying to help her with the whole thing with the politics of uh, being, you know, part of the military. So that was her function. So what would somebody like Mr. Edgar do when she's killed off? He's not a dumb man. He probably figured out, even though this shit's being pinned on Butcher, he probably, like, if they did, like, a forensic analysis of, of her body, well, you know, her skull was fucking blown in by, you know, heat, like, by lasers. Then, yeah, her body was blown up. A good forensic examiner would be able to tell the difference between the two traumas to the body, right? So he reports this to Edgar. So Edgar's like, well, fuck. Now I've got... The person that's supposed to keep Homelander in check was killed by Homelander. Well, you need a new person to keep Homelander in check. We ask, and he probably anticipated, my theory is, he anticipated this even before Homelander starts confronting him. Like, oh, you better check with me, motherfucker. You better check with me. You better check with me. Like, always, like, strutting around and shit, you know, in that scene we saw in the second episode, right? So what, what Ed Mr. did, he looked at his, like, Rolodex. Okay, these are the people I have available. I don't think another strictly human, unpowered... Stillwell is going to work this time. So what he needs is, he needs somebody who has powers who can at least, at least temporarily hold her own. Not, like, not be quite a fucking pushover. I think Stormfront could give Homelander a run for his money, at least in the short term. You know, shock his fucking ass. You know, energy bolts to the nuts. He, he at least slow him down, right? He's not going to be fucking, you know, walking all over her and shit. So that's number one, so you need that. But then you need to find a way to appeal to him that's not the mother angle this time because he's going to see that coming, you know. Um, so I think that's the second thing that's going on there. Like she's playing it coy. She's playing it hard to get. She's like actually going out of her way to get on his fucking nerves and irritate the shit out of him. And I think that that's going to fucking work, man. I think that at least I think that's what Edgar thinks. You know, I think that's what's going on here. I knew that she was a plant and I knew that she had some kind of covert mission within the seven and now what i think the covert mission within the seven is she's supposed to like bring homelander in he'll be so fucking irritated he'll probably even attempt to kill her and then they'll start kissing and they'll have sex and then after they have sex they'll reveal she'll be reporting miss Edgar. i got him right where i want him la 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 you know and that's how it's gonna play out that's my prediction for these these upcoming episodes that that's the long game. That's Mr. Edgar's game. He's, he has put somebody back into play to channel Homelander in certain ways that are like not as destructive to Mr. Edgar's long term plans. Because clearly, like he said, like you know, uh, fucking Homelander's out there giving up the formula and shit, fucking everything up, right? You need to put this son bitch in check somehow. So that's what I think's going on. That's the great you know Stormfront conspiracy. Uh, one more thing about that, like uh, somebody mentioned. <laughs> I, th I think it was... T I went to TV Tropes. That's what it was. It was on TV Tropes. On TV Tropes, they're talking about another connection with Stormfront and Nazis. As apparently, there's a Nazi website called Stormfront. You know, and that, like maybe that's where the comic got their name. You know, because they made the character, like, overtly Nazi in the comics. So, my first question is, how do you motherfuckers know the names of Nazi websites? Hmm. 
How do you come by this information? Like, random people, just innocent people who are not fucking Nazis walking down the street don't know the name of any Nazi websites. So how do you motherfuckers know? It reminds me when they were talking about, like, Eric Trump was, like, high on cocaine during the uh, Republican co uh, convention, right? And, like, how do you, and like people were saying this shit immediately on Twitter as he first started speaking. I'm like, how do you motherfuckers know, like, immediately know what somebody high on cocaine looks like? How, how do you have this information? Like, how do you know, motherfucker? Like, uh, that's, I just, I'm just curious, man. I'm just curious. How the fuck do you know shit like this? Like, there's just certain things, you know, that you shouldn't know. There's certain information you shouldn't know, right? Like, nobody should know, nobody should just immediately know what the expression on my face would be if I had an ice cream cone stuck up my ass right now, like, that you guys couldn't see, right? They'd be, oh, look at his like, facial expression. He's got an ice cream cone stuck up his ass. How the fuck would you know that, right? That's all I'm saying. There's certain information you shouldn't just automatically possess, right? You shouldn't know what a person with high on cocaine looks like. You shouldn't know what an ice cream up the ass looks like. And you shouldn't fucking know the names of any Nazi websites. So how do you know this shit? Just like how did you know that Stormfront was a Nazi, right? So, I don't know, man. Like, you motherfuckers just seem to be magically having all this fucking information and shit. And it all seems to be sitting around Stormfront. Everybody's got all this fucking magical fucking information about Stormfront. Everybody knows everything. Well, that's why this is just a theory. I don't know this for sure. And I ain't read the fucking comics. And so maybe it's kind of completely different than comics. And that's what the show's going to follow. I don't have no idea. But it's just my theory. So that's, that's all. I just want to share this theory real quick.